Hey everyone, happy new year. That's right, it's our first Tuesday of the year and it's Mortgage Tip Tuesday. You know who it is, it's your favorite girl, hashtag JLoan. That's right, I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday season and a fantastic new year. And um, you know, during this time, everyone wants to talk about goals and what you wanna do. And I really just want to um, I normally give you mortgage tips, right? But today I feel the need to go a little deeper. Um, and I want to talk about something with you in hopes that it can help you moving forward. Um, as some things have happened, obviously we all watched the uh, football game last night. And so my heart and my prayers, my continued prayers uh, will go out to uh, DeMar Hamlin's um, himself, his family, his friends, his teammates, um, the whole football community, and everyone who watches and supports uh, the sport, or just a human in itself. Um, I want you to get better, and um, we will continue to pray for you. But before the holiday season, in addition to that, our family lost a family member, and um, it came sudden right? You know, one day they're here and the next day they're not. And the same situation with, with Hamlin is that um, although you may go into a career or a job knowing that there are effects that can change your life, um, you don't live in that moment because you enjoy what it is that you're doing. But with that being said, those moments can change your life as well as all of those around you. And so I'm gonna ask the people who support me, the people who watch my channel and all of my Mortgage Tip Tuesdays to let it go. Our lives, we have seen so much um, sickness and death since 2020. And it's a lot to deal with um, and you don't want to live in fear. You want to really just try to enjoy each moment that you have because although it's cliche to say, um, our lives are not guaranteed. I started to think about my own life and saying, well, what if something were to happen to me? have I done a good enough job here on earth to uh, make an impact? And I hope that my journey continues so that I continue to change lives, motivate people, and uh, make a difference in, uh, in your lives as well as my own because we're all growing every day. So I wrote my own list of ways that you can live in the moment. And this is not saying that you're fearful of anything coming. It's just the only thing we're promised right now is this moment. And we have to learn to live in that moment because we can't change the past. And if we worry so much about our future, we will lose joy in today. So I'm gonna ask you for any bad relationship, um, if you're not talking to someone, whether it's a family member, a friend, um, just say sorry and just move on and enjoy your lives because harboring that, we're just not promised tomorrow and you don't want to live with regrets. So I wanna go over my list in hopes that this may be able to help you truly live in the moment and I will take my own advice as well. So number one, you got to put yourself first. Um, and I know this is hard, especially if you're a mom, um, if you're a wife, if you have a family, um, because the needs of others are a lot and it can become overwhelming. But you are not good if you do not take care of yourself, right? So if you don't get the proper sleep, if you don't um, do the things you need to do to take care of yourself, then you are not good for anybody else, okay? So 
find a way to put yourself first, whether that's a manicure or getting a weekly massage or just a time where you say I need 15 minutes every day to just clear my mind. Whatever it is that you feel you need, you gotta put yourself first. Number two, one thing I love to do is smile. You burn calories when you smile. It makes other people happy when you smile. Why do our people always so happy during the holidays? Everybody's smiling, everybody's in a good mood. And yes, part of it is because the holidays or we're off or whatever it may be, but if smiles are contagious. So smile, because if you smile, someone else is gonna smile, okay? Number three, you gotta give back. Um, it doesn't have to always be financially, but with your time, your money, your energy, you gotta give back. I don't know about you, but when I do something good for someone and I go out of my way, it makes me so happy to see their reactions. Um, and if anybody knows in this world, if you are a giver, um, it is just known that your blessings will come, whether it's now or later, but you have got to help the people around you. So be a giver, okay? Number four, you got to get rest. Now, I'll be honest with you. I suck at getting rest. I don't sleep well. My mind is always running 1,000 uh, miles per minute, uh, but you got to get your rest, okay? So I think at our age, and I'm 44, that you need at least seven hours of sleep. So if you can get that, that's great. But get your rest. It keeps you looking good. It keeps your energy good. It helps with everything with your body. So try and get your rest. Number five, focus on things that you can actually change, right? You ever wake up and say, oh man, it's hot. Oh man, it's raining outside. Um, oh man, this person uh, cut me off. You know, it's, it's so many things that you cannot change that you build these emotions up and they cause you stress and anger that you you can't change the weather you can't change that someone cut you off but did you ever take a second to think did they cut me off or are they going so fast because they have an emergency did they just get a phone call so instead of being angry just keep on moving okay Number six, exercise. Everyone knows I have got to start my day with exercising. When I don't, I am not happy. That is like my coffee. It's a time where I, I listen to gospel music, I exercise, and it just gets my day just started. Now, maybe you don't have the time to start in the morning, but find a way to get you in 30 minutes of something, whether it's walking, jogging, anything, find a way to exercise because it's not only good for your mind, but it's fantastic. One, for the way you feel about yourself and also just the exercise, just cardiovascularly, just for your health, okay? Number seven, have a great group of friends. You know, it's very important to be able to have a true group of friends who will encourage you, who will tell you when you're wrong, even though you want to don't want to hear that. But it's always good to have that group of friends that if you ever need a shoulder, um, they're there to give you that advice. Make sure you have a good group of friends. Number eight, celebrate the small wins. We all wait for the big wins, right? We, we all want the, the big houses, the million dollar job and all of these things, but, but celebrate the small wins. And to me, it, although it's a big win, right now, just waking up, is a win. Me being able to make this video is a win. So celebrate all those small wins because you deserve that. You're working hard. And number nine, I want you to be present. You know, I have this conversation a lot. You can be in the room, but you cannot be present. So it's very important for you to understand the difference. When you are present, you're not scrolling your phone. You're not looking at the TV all everywhere. Be present in your kids' lives, be present in your own life, wherever you are, wherever you are at that moment, I want you to fully engage on where you are at that time and be present. You will enjoy it more and the people that you're there supporting will also enjoy it more knowing that you are there wholeheartedly. So anyways, this is my list of top nine for 2023 and I hope that this helps you. Um, until next Tuesday, I want you to be safe, 
Be blessed and have a fantastic rest of your week. Bye-bye.